Oh. Three, two, one. All right, ladies and gentlemen and people of all, welcome once again to another Let's Play by me, Cassis Clay. Uh, right now, this is day two of World War III. Uh, last night, we made some pretty good progress. Um, I made uh, a bunch of uh, progress with some new weapons that we unlocked. I went from level four to level eight. Um, also, we jumped in with Soldier Pat, so those episodes will probably be up by the time that this episode gets up uh, because this is technically day two. Um, I am live on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. Uh, I multi-stream to all platforms, so if you do wanna ever come by and stop by while the streams are live, feel free to do so. Also a like on Facebook, a like and subscribe on YouTube or a follow on Twitch, it all means a lot to me. So that's the whole spiel. With that, we're going to go into, I guess, our first game of the day. Um, I keep having notifications. I mean, this game tells you that there's new stuff unlocked, but a lot of times uh, there really isn't a whole lot. So, uh, so sometimes they stay there uh, that even though you already checked them. So I'm just going to clear notifications and then uh, we see if the career challenge is changed. Okay, so they are still the same. Uh, this one, the daily challenge changes in six hours and 42 minutes. What time is that for me? Uh, 42 minutes from now, that seems like it would be just about 6 p.m. Uh, Eastern time, for, for me at least. Because going forward, 42 minutes, that brings it to 12 and then six hours from them is 6 p.m. So uh capture 20 points on berlin we'll get this if we do that uh apparently <laughs> they have two weekly challenges uh in effect for this small uh map but that's not a current playable map so yeah uh, i checked this morning still no news or, or update on uh the inventory system now um so right now, technically, if you go onto the website, uh, I guess I can actually show it real quick too. Let me see if I can get locked in. Uh, essentially, if you are either a veteran of this game, which uh, just to reiterate it from yesterday, um, if you bought this game, this game released in 2018. Uh, I bought it then actually, and then it was in early access. They ended up taking it down to rework a few things. And uh, now it's released as of two days ago in closed beta until January. I think it's like February or March. Let me just name all three beginning months of 2022. But uh, it releases sometime around then next year. Uh, and at that point, it will become free to play. So uh, right now, I mean, it doesn't seem like there's going to be. We'll have to wait and see on microtransactions and what they're their way of making money is going to be but we at least know there's going to be a battle pass um and things like that but anyways um so yeah, yeah let me show this real quick um so if you do get an access to the game uh there's an inventory system so when you go to my account and then you go to my account there's inventory all this stuff are items that are in my account so uh, right now there's twitch drops unfortunately i don't have them enabled it's only for specific people uh but there's character blueprints um basically equipment there's veteran uh banners and then emblems uh lmg the lmg actually is in the game right now so i'm able to use that uh even though it's sitting in my inventory um wolverine blueprint a veteran character blueprint uh an emblem a banner uh u.s rifleman russian rifleman more banners uh sorry i keep scrolling down two uh an m4 intervention blueprint and then an ak-15 intervention blueprint uh resistance ronin helmet which i think looks pretty sick and then there's also a tank another lmg uh encounter banner set and then the lieutenant emblem 
Uh, there's four, no, there's three different packs for the game. There's uh, private, which is just basic, like you're getting access to the game. Um, you might get like a, a one or two blueprints and that's pretty much it. Uh, Sergeant, which gives you, I think the same thing as private, but it's a little bit higher. It might give you the battle pass. But from everybody I've been seeing, it's either go private for the price to entry, which is 15 bucks, or go lieutenant, which unlocks basically everything that you just saw uh, for me, other than that veteran um, status. The veteran one you can only get if you bought the game in 2014, uh, 18. So that's how I have that. Uh, majority of that stuff that, that was in there is not in the... Uh, inventory like yet in game uh so long as it's in that inventory section on the website whenever it's up and running we'll be able to have it in game uh so that'll be cool whenever that comes um and just to make sure that i don't have any if i go to change operator yeah so right here you can see it in my inventory on the website i had the uh our russian army rifleman and then u.s army and World War III veteran. Um, all three of these were in that website, but we don't have access to any of those. So, um, yeah, I guess let's, I'm gonna queue up for just Berlin. I'm gonna see how long it actually takes. Cause I wanna try to get this, um, capture 20 points. So that's just five more times and then I'll have it and I'll see what, uh, what we get. Yo, what's going on, Alex? What game are you playing? Uh, this is... Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, well, I'm trying to play... Uh, World War III right now. It's a uh, first-person shooter similar to, like, a Call of Duty in Battlefield. Uh, more closely to Battlefield, in my opinion. But, uh... But, yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. I, uh, it came out in 2018 originally, but they took it down to rework it. Now it's, uh, releasing next year, technically, and, uh, for free to play for everybody. But as of right now, until then, it is, uh, in a closed beta status, which is by getting one of the packs, um, that they have. I don't know if I have to... Let me try leaving lobby. There we go. Ahsoka Katan. <laughs> nice. Games before gains. The dude. Ashen Reborn. VR Buglio. And player four six zero four zero. <laughs> what is this number? Eight? Oh, that's our level. I wonder if the love the number above it is going to be the battle pass level. Yeah, what up, what, thoughts and tales? What up? How you doing, man? <laughs> hello, hello, my friend. Hello, comrade. How you do? <laughs> what's this game uh this is world war three me and soldier power playing it last night um a little bit he picked it up for it's so the the smallest pack is 15 bucks um and essentially it's like a battlefield style game um you'll see in like two seconds here uh for the most part the game runs really good um, there are some audio issues and there are some inventory slot issues that I've been running into. Um, they're also having server issues or well, they were yesterday. I don't know what the status is for today just yet. Um, but it very, it went very quiet. Okay. It's still loading map in the bottom, right? So we should be good. Um, but yeah, so this game mode that we're jumping in, Tactical Ops, it's it's most similar to Conquest or Battlefield. Uh, you run around the map capturing objectives. It does take longer than like your typical Battlefield game for capturing objectives. Um, 
So there's that. And then you also have score streaks where the more you play the objective, you gain score points. Uh, you get it from really doing everything. And then uh, you can use those streaks to call in UAVs, bombing runs, uh, things like that, basically. So this is it. We're in Moscow. Uh, there's only four maps right now. So let me actually close this out real quick. And then one other thing. I forgot to turn off uh, display capture. If we're in game, there we go. Okay. So as you can see, you can, there's all the objectives. Uh, we got A1, A2. So there, there's usually about six objectives. And I think if you have two of them at the same time, you essentially gain more points. This game counts up to 5,000. So whichever team reaches 5,000 points first, that's the team that wins. Uh, or whenever the time limit runs out, the max time limit is 30 minutes. So if the game runs out, um, whichever team has the most points by the end of 30 minutes, that's the winner. Two. Um, the maps seem pretty cool so far. Uh, there's only four of them for tactical ops, and then there's two for team deathmatch. Majority of people are going to be playing tactical ops, um, but unless if there's like an objective specific to um, a different one, I can see, I can see why somebody else would want to. Um, so right now we're capturing B. You can see that we're getting the capture points attacking. Um, maps are about 20 v 20 there. The team balancing doesn't seem to be the best, uh, a lot of the time. So we might be a little bit short of players. Um, I haven't seen it really where people join games in progress. Most of the games that I've played, it's dropped me into the beginning of a lobby every single time. So that has kind of been a little, uh, like 50 50 so and we're still capturing it but there we go we got uh 1500 points and those on the right you can see the strike points um over there's i have a radar a bombing run and uh an ifv which is like an apc i uh, infantry apc i think so something like that um you can call those in looks really good so how does it compare to battlefield in your opinion um so it's made by an indie team so it has issues and it's gonna be a little bit rough at first but i think for the current state of battlefield this game in my honest opinion feels more like a traditional battlefield game than 2042. 2042 is still fun and i enjoy it but i wish we got a version like this like look at that you press tab you got the scoreboard um you can swap and create squads uh you can like we have traditional conquest here there's tons and tons of gun customization i was going through it yesterday every single one of these guns they have like 60 levels to them there's so many uh attachments to it um different variants that you can make different uh there's blueprints which is essentially like a set a gun will have a set look to it in a way um there's leaning mechanic there's uh other movement mechanics like you can lay on your back and sit like this get up you can throw down ammo like you have your traditional classes and it's not locked to it so i can go in here i can go to my support class here's my weapon here's my blueprint oh i want to change out my weapon i think i just died <laughs> i can do it on the fly uh okay i have armor let me swap heavy armor lighter armor whatever it is oh i want to change from a med pack to next time i want to spawn with an ammo pack let me just change to that swap grenades and then they also have a custom backpack, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, custom backpack is similar to the version. Oh, shoot. <laughs> no longer squad leader. Too busy uh, 
doing this. Our units are taking hold of a um, but yeah, so this is the custom backpack. So if I have other sights, I can swap them out. Uh, different muzzle flash uh, grenades. You basically get to hold on a second version of grenades every time. You just have to actually go into your backpack to swap them out. Like there you go, right there. I just swapped it to the uh, to this thing, but I might have just screwed myself because I kind of wanted to use the other one. And now it won't let me go back. Um, so there's that. But yeah, honestly, and you you also have the score points of this game too. Um, where see, right now we're just standing here racking up points. It it really does feel like more of a traditional battlefield game. Um, and it's uh, yeah, it's unfortunate, you know, but. It is what it is. Oh God. But yeah, I mean, Battlefield 2042 still has a lot of fun to it. Um, I still enjoy it, but I think with what they're doing, this feels more along the lines of a like Battlefield 4.2. Like, basically, so that's what I what I usually say. Everyone and, and I, honestly. I would say probably 90% of the player base that is playing this game right now and will be playing it is all going to be Battlefield refugees. People that aren't enjoying 2042 and coming to this game. And for the price to entry, 15 bucks. I mean, you can wait until uh, January or March, or I mean, uh, February or March, whatever day it is, you can wait until then and play it for free or if you're like oh battlefield 2042 isn't meeting my my first person shooter fix let me spend 15 bucks on this indie game you know so price to entry is there as well it's not like you're spending 60 bucks on a game and waiting for it to be patched and all that um so yeah looks really good i might have to pick it up if you and pat are gonna play oh yeah yeah, dude, it's uh, it's fun. Honestly, it, it's been really cool so far. I think the best part is like they they're starting with such a good foundation. Uh, with I mean, there's only four maps. That's not anything crazy, but um, But the amount of weapons and different, uh, boy, the amount of weapons and different, um, attachments that you can use and leveling, like the progression is there. You can com com or compress <laughs> progress as much as you want because there's so much weapons and, uh, attachments and mix and matching the only thing that they're missing right now is customization um i mean there is some and you can mix, mix and match um your outfits and stuff but there's an inventory system that i was showing a little bit ago of like all the uh, uh gear and things like that that uh isn't in game just yet so hopefully we get that like next day or so that would be nice to have and then uh yeah uh, i just realized we're not even we're on moscow right now <laughs> i was trying to queue up for berlin but it put me into a moscow match objective charlie one is under attack right now this uh this UKM is the uh, the one you get for having veteran status in this game, which I, I've said it a few times. I'll probably be keep, keep saying it again. Uh, since this game came out in 2018, uh, people were able to buy it then. 
I bought it then and since they took it down to rework it um they uh anybody that had it back then was given veteran status now and also uh the highest available pack that they have which is the lieutenant um lieutenant kit basically so that's kind of where that's at see what you mean by unbalancing teams wonder why they won't replace players yeah i don't i don't know and it, from what it looks like two three people on my team disconnected also so i'm kind of like uh uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what that marking protection is at the bottom of my screen. I've seen it before, too. Nice, even teams. Yeah, literally. The game has that squad play to it as well, which is nice. Um, so you can swap squads, you can join different squads. Uh, you can make objectives. If you use those objectives and you actually focus them, then you end up getting more points too. Um, if you capture A1 and A2, then Usually you get more, uh, I guess, points with that. Here we go. I'm going to spawn in with, with a vehicle. So this is how it works when you, uh, when your score streak meets a certain point and you're able to call it in, you can call it in or you can spawn in somewhere. Seems you are doomed to lose now, however, getting them objective points. Exactly. <laughs> so... There we go. Good hit. Now, I can't tell if that's an enemy or not. That is definitely an enemy. And I'm also about to die. And I'm dead. Yeah. That tank that we start with, uh, not the best uh not not the best at all damn look at this so honestly we might be best to uh leave this match because right now dude there's literally like seven people versus a team of 20 almost probably like 17. So I'm going to go ahead and re you for a new match. That was a little, uh, little much there. Try queuing for just Berlin again. I don't like leaving matches. I usually try to stay in as much as I can. Uh, regardless of the odds, but in that case, it's just going to be 15 minutes of us attempting to try to capture objectives and we'll capture it. And then two seconds later, somebody else on the other team will capture it. And then, yeah, I mean, it could be a way of racking up capture points, but yeah, I'm good on that. So. Um, oh yeah, so I guess since we're queued up for, we're trying to match make right now. Um, so this is what I was using right here. Um, select that as main. Here's the LMG. Um, the amount of customization and everything is all there. So I click on this. Um, that'll swap it out. We get a customization. Primary sight, secondary, under barrel, magazine, side, barrel, muzzle. Uh, you can also do a showcase of the weapon, toggle the parts, see every single part of the gun, put it back together. You can also do this with tanks, which I found out yesterday, and that was sick. If you open up a tank, you can see all the parts uh, to it. 
like what you want to swap out you can also do it like this too um here's all the other sites that they have uh yeah the there, there's got to be like 200 attachments per weapon and there's 29 weapons right now um so pretty good starting point <laughs> of course how much is it gonna affect when you can like take the weapon apart and look at it like that not really much but it does look pretty cool and you can tell they they put in the time for the detail of doing that so that's pretty neat to see um and you can do that for every single weapon everything that you see so another <laughs> not so full team but hey hopefully uh are we does it tell us what map we're on this is berlin as long as people stay in the match we'll be all right there is a uh sprint run like this tactical run Right now, I have the jammer, uh, artillery, and the tank equipped for myself. So, for my score streaks, at least. Jesus. What the? F Is that somebody breathing? Oh, God. Somebody's mic is on. Bro. Who is it? It doesn't tell us who it is, too. I'm going to turn off voiceover IP for now. You know what's funny too? They literally had to go into. Nice, we leveled up. Who is breathing like that? What the fuck? Yeah, dude, that's kind of scary. <laughs> we just. Luckily, my mic doesn't even pick that up. I just tried doing that. <laughs> they couldn't pick it up. In game. Yeah, he might have a cold, maybe. I don't know. Um. The weird thing is, though, luckily, this game starts and automatically puts you into... Also, it's up, Ed. <laughs> uh, this game starts and puts you into um, push-to-talk mode anyways. So that means that he had to have turned... Went into his settings and turned off push-to-talk mode just to do that. So that's a little... Why? What's good? This game's pretty good so far. That's what's good. Guy just likes breathing, brother. I guess so. He likes breathing. I mean, good. I like breathing too. Objective Charlie One is under attack. I think somebody's coming. Or maybe not. Alright, so we're gonna try taking Alpha One here. Once we grab this, try going for Alpha Two. What the where? Oh no. It does give you this roundup about how they damaged you too, which is pretty cool. Um, it shows you the parts on your body, where you got shot, and then how the the final kill shot was. 
all right so let's go for actually we're right here so we might as well take that charlie never mind <laughs> final kill shot was in my arm oh man go 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 oh god run Uh, for those of you that don't know, this game is made by the same developers that made the Chernobyl light game. Um, oh yeah, remember that? You know what's funny? Uh, thoughts and tales are Jordan. I don't know if you mind me, uh, calling you Jordan. Even though I just did. Or if you want me to just say thoughts and tales. <laughs> um, this game is made by Jordan's fine. All right, good. Uh, I don't know if you wanted to say through the uh, keep behind the persona. <laughs> but anyways, this game is made by the same people as that uh, that Russian Chernobyl light game, which you also the last game that I, I think I remember you coming through as well. This is the same developers even away my identity. <laughs> It's funny. Yeah, I think I think it's on sale right now too. Um, well, there's that giant Steam sale going on. All right, I'm done going to that bait that area because I'm getting wrecked every time. Nice teams again. All right, let's go for this, Charlie. Okay, now that we got that, let's go for a Bravo 2. They, I, I feel like they definitely used a lot of assets between the two. Uh, and, it, and it's a huge difference in games, you know? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> they definitely used a lot of assets, but like, I uh, got one that's like very story driven and I, uh, I mean, it has its like open area ness to it too, but then there's this game, which is a multiplayer game. So, Farm 51 is uh, pretty cool. Uh, I would say in recent, like, they're probably a pretty underrated developer, and I hope we see more. Like, I would love to see what they can do, and um, so long as they keep getting, like, funding and everything. So. They have, they, they've been putting out good stuff, so. Streaming on the YouTube now? Yes, sir. I'm streaming on Facebook, YouTube, and, uh, oh, God. Oh God. Enemy airstrike yeah. fast approaching. Uh Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. All at the same time. Um I cut my my affiliate umbilical cord with Twitch because of their exclusivity. So that way I could branch out a little bit further and see what works more. And uh yeah, that's where we're at. I mean still for a live streaming experience, I think Twitch is probably still the best. Um, just in general, because that's where everybody watches broadcasts and all that. But I do think that YouTube and Facebook, both of them, uh, in the future, have, uh, so long as they they continue to develop, I think that they have a lot of potential. So, especially YouTube. I think within the next five years, when it comes to YouTube streaming, I think they're eventually going to have a uh, substantial amount of uh people so exactly cover all the bases so so yeah it's uh so far it's been it's been working out pretty good i like it i don't mind it i think it's uh pretty cool i have all the chats integrated into uh one area 
So, uh, regardless of what platform they're talking from, you'll be able to see it. Uh, and then I, I've thought about also adding on to other platforms of streaming. Um, I've, I've been wanting to. Uh, so, TikTok streams as well. Uh, the problem is, as of right now, uh, I can stream on TikTok. You only need a thousand followers on TikTok. But I can only do it for my phone. They offer uh, RTMP, which is essentially you plug in that link, you plug in your stream key. Same thing as you would with Twitch and YouTube. Uh, but they only offer that to certain people. If they eventually do open that up, then I will be adding that on as well. Because TikTok is a TikTac, TikTok is a whole other thing. Um Jesus. So I hope we see that at, at some point too. The more platforms, the better. And you know what's crazy? The only one that has exclusivity is Twitch. And it's only because they, they know, as of right now, they are the best platform for live streams. So, and watch time for live streams. If you become a partner on YouTube and you become a partner on Facebook, they do not require any type of exclusivity. So even if I got partnered with them, um, unless if there's a specific contract with them, um, just base partnership with both platforms, you can stream everywhere. If it's, uh, Twitch is the only one that requires, if you're an affiliate, you become an affiliate, Technically, you're not allowed to stream anywhere else at the same time. So, the talk be cringy for me. Yeah, I know there's a lot of stuff on there, but I've, I I feel like once you get used to it, because um, I thought so too, uh, but once you get used to it, there's a lot of cool stuff out there too. <laughs> so... Uh, so yeah, yeah, the growth some people seen from TikTok is crazy, exactly. So, TikTok has that one, um, TikTok's the one platform that we know of that, uh, that really works for bringing people to other platforms. Like if you go onto Instagram and you're like, hey, come to my YouTube, it's very hard to drag people to that. If you go on YouTube and say, hey, go to my Twitch, it's very hard for people to go to that. TikTok seems to somehow do it though. People are able to grow on, on TikTok and follow them on other platforms. I don't know how, I don't know why, but it seems to work, so. Uh, I'm never going there uh, ever because most people be doing the most. When you start, it's very weird and you get a lot of stuff. But once you start interacting with the stuff that you like, like my page started out being a gen generic like TikTok account. account. But once you started working on... Oh, Jesus. Um, once you start interacting with like gaming feeds and like streamers and things like that on TikTok, then your feed, th their algorithm does a really good job at uh, giving you the correct stuff. Would there be a way to integrate all chats on stream so we can see what people on the other platform are saying? Yep, blind bottom right. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, I know sometimes it can be a little bit difficult. And it only stays there for, I think, 25 seconds. Um, Cause I don't, I don't want to keep it like overflowed for the entire like right side. Um, but yeah, every time it says something, it, it shows what platform or it might show like an icon of where they're from. So yeah. Also, how's it going to know? I, did I lose my squad lead? No, I still have squad lead. Objective Bravo one is under attack. I'm gonna go for Alpha 2. But yeah. I've also been debating. Um, and I know it's gonna be it's gonna sound like a weird one. But technically Steam 
has its own broadcasting. Uh, and when you go to a Steam page, I don't know if you guys ever gone onto a website or like uh, anything like that, you can actually open it up and uh, like when you go to click on a, a games page. So for instance, you click on World War Three at the top. If somebody is broadcasting the game at that time, they show up at the top. It's not very popular, but technically market objective or lose your role. <laughs> um, so yeah, technically it's not very popular, but it could be something cool. It's really, uh, don't even know how to broadcast on steam. So you can do it through like, if you do the shift tab, thing and bring up like the Objective or whatever it is not that i care i'm retired um yeah you can do it through that like shift tab uh and then start it through there or you can also um the other way you can do it is by going onto the website you they actually give you a stream key and a rtmp link for you to stream to then you just plug that in. Oh. <laughs> you plug that in wherever you want and it goes from there. Nonsense, you never retire, you're just taking a break. So, yeah. That's pretty much how that works. Hey man, the more I I am not exclusive to any platform until i reach a point where i should be exclusive to one platform so if some random company if google comes out tomorrow and they're like hey we started our live streaming broadcasting web gaming specific website here it is check it out dude i am setting an account up and i am multi-streaming to that one too so i am not exclusive anywhere <laughs> exactly everywhere i'm gonna be everywhere dude new york city makes their own they're like hey come broadcast to our our page uh and you might end up on uh in times square i'm making an account and i'm broadcasting to there too It's really the discoverability. That's that's a big thing too. Um, with a lot of these platforms, is it, it's not very easy to be discovered unless if you already are getting the the large amount of viewers and uh, and all that. So. Okay. Uh, that's the biggest fault with Twitch. So even though it was nice having subscribers. Um, and all that like that stuff was cool but once you take that away and uh and really think about it i mean i would get like maybe 15 20 subs a month that ended up and then like three or four months i would get like a hundred dollars from twitch did i really need that not really so that's where I was kind of like, well, I am going to miss out on this, but who knows? Maybe these other platforms will do better. Um, I'm currently 300. No, no, no. It's like 250 now. I'm 250 hours away from uh, being a partner on YouTube or being able to apply for a partnership. So it's it's pretty close there. It's getting there. I've met the subscriber count for a while. It's only the, um, the watch time, which is kind of high there. Um, but yeah, it's almost there. Also, you know what? I, and I keep making a Facebook thing or a Instagram post about it too. Yeah. I youtube shorts youtube shorts are 
so so underrated in my honest opinion my analytics have skyrocketed since this last week i've been posting at least one short a day and i went from averaging like 2,000 to 3,000 views on YouTube a day, or I mean, uh, not a day, like a week, to right now, within this last week, I have 20,000 views, which for me, I'm, I'm still very, very, very small. That's, that's nothing for the big leagues of YouTube, and even medium leagues. That's, that's still nothing, but shorts are a whole other thing. <coughs> YouTube, uh... YouTube partner able to do monetization exactly the point where you, you it plays like an ad right before a video um, so the, and the requirements for YouTube are uh, oh Jesus <laughs> got him requirements for YouTube are you have to have 1,000 subscribers uh, your account has to be in good standing and all that for like at least a year, which 90% of people probably are fine. Um, what the? And, uh, I can't see. I can't see. I literally cannot see. Uh, and the final one is you need 4,000 hours of watch time uh, within a one year. So for the last few years, damn. Captain COVID. I had that three years ago before they changed it. Oh yeah, they, they um, I remember when I started getting into YouTube a little bit or, or starting to export it. I remember it used to be like, literally all you needed was 1,000 subs. It's that watch time hours where it it becomes very more selective. Um, so that's that's where a lot of people eventually don't meet it because um, they want to make sure that they're and, and I understand why because they want to make sure that people are actually like you can have as many subscribers as you want, but if people aren't watching your videos, like does it really matter? Objective Bravo One. Is under um, so and mine still are mine still are very low and that's fine like that's all part of it um it wasn't until two years ago or or well almost two years ago where i started exporting stuff to youtube anyways even though i've been streaming for since like the end of 2016 it wasn't until then where i started actually exporting um and changing things up to actually be on there hey donovan thank you for the like on facebook appreciate that how you doing yeah it's definitely consistency definitely so and i appreciate everyone that side and today's been a good stream so far i mean we're only literally an hour in so i appreciate uh bad and, and jordan and uh tuno and everybody else that whether you're lurking or, or chilling uh chatting whatever it is damn <laughs> total failure he said so and it was bowling at one point and it stopped being consistent yeah, definitely consistency is where where a lot of stuff matters. Um, but yeah, consistency is definitely key. Wait, why is it only, it only shows up for like, oh no, it does. We got a new Glock. Hit level nine. Yeah, consistency is definitely where it, uh, you gotta be able to, to meet that. But I also get it for, for people that like, it's okay to take breaks, you know, like people should take breaks. So 
especially if you're not feeling it like that's all right or just quit in general i mean like nobody has to do anything i i find a lot of enjoyment when i do see things doing well when i see a stream doing well so like a day like today i'm gonna remember for like the last or the next few days like i'm gonna be like wow there's a good amount of people chatting there's a good amount of like different platforms coming through um all of that so i'm gonna remember a day like today and i'm gonna hope that there's more of them um but regardless even like slow days and busy days it's <laughs> what did you do it threw a bunch of c4 on the ground and just blew it all up oh god oh god yeah there's two squads two full squads and two solo squads and then three full squads on the other team and one solo this is going to be an interesting match if i can even f find out how to get over there I haven't even really been paying attention to uh what we're fully doing there we go one guy i think i saw somebody down there Our units are taking hold of objective alpha two. weapon ranked up vertical grip with bipod nice Okay, good. I didn't. Re I just realized the red dot site went back to what it originally was at. Now I wonder, are they gonna be down there? Cool. All right, let's go for Charlie two. No points so far. Wait, is that supposed to be? <laughs> or do you have to capture two objectives for your points to keep going up? Because right now, nobody is... I, maybe you have to capture both. Like, Charlie 1 and Charlie 2 for it to go. Our units are taking hold of objective Bravo 1. Okay, yeah, so you have to capture two points. I, well, I didn't know that. Now we know. Wow. <laughs> and they are skyrocketing right now. We're already at 50 points. Okay, and they just captured Alpha 1 and Alpha 2, so now they're getting their points. So, in reality, if you break a chain then you're stopping them from gaining points on that. And then also if you capture two points, then that's pretty good too. I mean, that's the name of the game to begin with, but, but still, it's good to know. Objective Charlie one is under attack. Area Bravo is under our control. I feel like I should move my uh my overlay. This is like right where the uh the text is. We have Bravo one, we have uh where are we going? Charlie one. Yeah. Yeah. 
Charlie 2. Damn. Roll fear. The audio still just remains like one of that one of those things that I I hope that we see improved because um, it does feel a little bit odd a lot of points it's not really the best but I mean it also as long technically as long as you can hear things <laughs> I guess that's all that matters but the guns sound very odd um and and not really what you expect them to sound like um there's also a lot of points where the guns sound um quiet and the audio kind of like cuts out like last night the, my final game i was in um the audio just did not want to work at all and it was it, it noticed that i was firing but after firing like nothing was happening so it's just very weird nice oh god Where? Alright, I'm running into Charlie One. Cap the subjective. I saw him. Reload quick. I saw him. I saw a name. Nice, nice. Oh, he's almost dead. His backpack is jiggling. Uh-oh. I said this yesterday, but the only thing I wish that this game honestly had would be like a, a revive system or at least some sort of like heal. Not, not just throwing down the med pack but a i don't know like a five to ten second like a quick the respawn is is very very fast so that's nice but if the respawn was a few seconds later and then there was like a five to ten second um revive system i feel like that would be pretty cool but i don't know there, there must be some sort of reason they they didn't want to do revives I get that. That's fine. Here, stay alive. Our units are taking hold of objective Alpha One. Our units are taking hold of objective Charlie. Two. Oh my God, Alpha sir, two. are you okay? <laughs> I'm going for Charlie Two. I honestly thought we were in the Charlie 2 objective there. Our units are taking hold of objective Bravo 1. Nice. I really like this objective LMG. The only thing is it, it becomes oh my god. Very unstable. Granada. You know what? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Calling it in. Oh shoot. Watch out! Get inside! No! Ally hit! Careful!
Bravo two. Yeah, they're about to take it. There we go. Moving in. Can you mod your guns? Oh yeah. Uh, there's a lot of modifications and things that you can do. I, uh, so like it, you can pretty much change up so many attachments uh, for each gun. Each gun has a good amount of levels as well. So there's, as you, the more you use it, the more you level up that weapon. Um, and each weapon has like almost like 30 different sites that you can equip. Uh, usually like five or six uh, uh, different. I uh, can't do it in game, unfortunately. You can swap out your weapons, but you can't like change out attachments really. Um, right here, like you can see that these right here, these four attachments for this weapon. Uh, if I go up to this one, here's five different attachments. You can have up to five. Um, and then you can mix and match a lot too. So yeah, there is a lot of gun customization. You can also, uh, as you're in the uh, the menu, you can take the weapon apart and see all the pieces that you can swap out. So it does like a little extract, and you see all the pieces of every uh, of the gun and which ones you can swap out. And then when you change it, you'll see it as well. So there we go. I just ranked up this weapon and unlocked the new hollow site for it as well. Um, the one thing that's a little different right now, I'm actually using a blueprint. Blueprints are a set weapon with a certain look and certain attachments. But um, you can swap out those attachments still. Kind of like uh, I, I haven't really played a whole lot of... Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, but supposedly it's it's similar to their blueprint system where you can it, it just has a specific look to it. Um, so right now I'm using the veteran LMG basically. So far, best squad. God. Ugh. Stay down. Trying to spawn on him. Ah, damn. Got shot from behind. Enemy There's somebody up on here. I saw them on the map. Oh, they're outside now. Uh, actually, I'm not going to reload. Run and capture Charlie One. In tribute to art and love. See, that's where I really wish I could just throw my thing down and defibrillator them. Or like patch them up. Hey, Sean Wood, yo, thank you for the uh, like on Facebook. How you doing? Appreciate it. 
There it is. Move, move. Nice. Got Charlie too. Uh, we're actually losing right now by 300 points or so. Uh, just actually just about 500. But we still have best squad at least with 37,000 points. At the end of the match, there is a, uh, a best squad and your squad, like it shows you how many kills you got, how many captures you got as a team, uh, how many other stuff, other stats like that. I am doing my best at I'm capturing Bravo 2 all by myself. Here we go, we got backup coming. That's what I like to see. Alright, I'm gonna reload. Bravo 1 was captured. If we can clear the rest of Bravo 2, then we got... Uh, there it is. Nice. Link is established. Established. Sweet. All right, we're going back up to Charlie 2. They're currently taking that. Request 2. I was going to try to run right across. Yo, what's going on, Shaman? How you doing? Been a while. Yes, sir. How are you? Let's try spawning on this guy. Damn, we lost Charlie too. Oh, what? I put so, so many shots into him already. I thought he was dead. Good, you. I'm doing pretty good. Playing some, uh... Oh, God. Oh, God. There's so many. There's so many. Grenade! Grenade! No! I killed our teammate, not them. Ugh. Yeah, that thing wasn't going to be very <laughs> accurate there. <laughs> Wait. What? Oh, I hurt myself. That's because I fell. I was like, why? How did I hurt myself? Uh, we're going for Charlie, too. So. Try getting one of these vehicles, I guess. Go, go, go. I need a gunner. Objective Bravo One is under attack. Literally shot his hands. <laughs> Oh my god, what? He's still alive? Okay. Oh shit, they got a tank too. The squad leader just got absolutely demolished right there. Come on. A few seconds. Nice, nice. I dropped this down. What's our objective? Charlie 2? Spot them. Try running around for Charlie too. Oh, 
man. Uh. Yesterday I got the gaming monitor. All I need on my desktop is uh, all I need is the desktop. It's supposed to come this week and set up. Hopefully we can play together. Any suggestions what games I should get on PC? Um, what do you play? I mean, so here's the nice thing on PC. There's so many more games on PC uh, and they go on sale a lot of times too compared to to console. So um, there's a lot. It depends on how open you are to other games, but there's a lot of uh, classic like RPG style games that are out there. One dollar equals 75 rupees. Nice. Nice. Yeah, this game, I mean, this game's 15 bucks. Uh, there's also, I don't know, God of War is going to be coming to PC soon. So I'm excited for that. Um, Xbox PC Game Pass. That's pretty solid right now um, with a lot of indie games that come to it and all that. So that's a, a big suggestion. Um, oh God. Jesus. Open world shooting games like COD type of guy because of the autumn sale. There's a lot of games on sale for the uh, on Steam right now for autumn too. Here, why is it showing four dollars? What uh, what shows four dollars? Oh. Oh, is it because of autumn sale? Really? Uh, what, this game? Or other games? Is it actually showing on sale? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I am going to put this down right there. Yeah, there's a there is a lot of games. World War Three is showing four dollars here in India because it was uh, there's a fourteen ninety nine dollar pack. Huh. Really? That's pretty cool. Uh, I haven't checked unless if they just recently. If it's on sale, I'm gonna check now. I mean, the so the lowest price is. Um, uh for the $15 one and if it's on sale in your area then yeah if yeah if, if i buy it for four dollars can i play it right now i would assume so if that's the the 14.99 pack on sale for four dollars then yes the private pack is what gives you access to everything right now um, but also this game will be free to play uh, in February or March so buying early access <laughs> nice Objective, Bravo one is under we attack. just got wrecked by our own teammate uh, do you play GTA trilogy if so how is it I have not played uh, the GTA definitive edition um, I probably will at some point, but it, I'm waiting until it's, uh, very cheap and that's probably going to be a while and that's fine. Um, really the only thing that I, I want to play through there, um, would technically be playing through vice or not vice city, um, San Andreas, since I never played San Andreas all the way through. Thank you for the follow there, Zagnik. I appreciate that. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. 
Was it actually on sale for that? I'll have to check after this match. I wonder if they, because they just added it on, um, but it might be region specific. So your region might have it on sale for that cheaper than the other regions. Um, there's a bunch of sales going on right now for a lot of places. Fanatical has some pretty good sales. Humble Bundle has some. Steam has some. Uh, Green Man Gaming as well. And these are all uh, exclamation point GMG in chat is Green Man. My Green Man. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> GMG. Uh is my green man gaming one uh exclamation point fanatical is my fanatical one and exclamation point humble is my humble gaming one uh i think all those work for every platform as well i could be wrong i might be wrong but yeah you play call of duty on pc nah not really i haven't played call of duty for quite a while and I don't, as of right now, I don't really plan on it either. Um, Enemy especially with Activision right now. No thanks on that. I don't really plan on sen spending any money on that. Um, I have been playing, so prior to this, Halo Infinite on PC. Um, and then also Battlefield. But Battlefield, I'm taking a break for a bit uh, because I just want to see what patches, updates, all that stuff that it hopefully gets uh, down the line. So, but I, I have heard good things about the uh, recent update or patch that they had for Battlefield. Update two, apparently it helped balance their, their weapons a whole lot, so. This just came out, so I'm probably going to be playing this for a majority of today. Uh, and then later today, we're going to be starting the uh, Halo Reach campaign. So I haven't played Halo in years. So that right there, I can tell you, PC Game Pass, I will say, fantastic. The amount of games, not only that they have, that are Microsoft and aren't Microsoft, but then also uh, everything else that they do have. Like you can play, uh, what is it? Um, Master Chief Collection on there. That's a pretty good one. Uh, did we unlock like a new uh, sniper or rifle yet? Those quarters. So here's the gun customization uh, for the person that was asking earlier. Uh, here's every single site that you have. And then here's all the different versions of sites that you can equip as well. So you have hollow sites to medium and more. Uh, under barrel, you got bipods, ammo box, side you can get a tactical light looks like these are lasers muzzle uh you can also customize it for looks get a personal we have uh camouflage colors materials pattern solid colors an emblem pistol you can even change the look of your pistol grip the look of the handguard uh the here we go toggle show parts boom now you can see the the gun with all the parts detached every single piece of item that can be swapped out this part this part this part the rifle the buttstock uh The handle, I believe it looks like. Oh, that's it. That's the barrel. Uh, 
Yeah, every single part can be. And you can do that to everything. Let me just show you real quick. This one I found out last night. I thought this is pretty sick too. We go in here, ready? Showcase. You can even do it to tanks, vehicles, all of that. All right, Jordan. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, man. Uh, have a, uh, a good day and I'll, I'll see you on the battlefield at some point, eventually. Take the PC, I'm getting it. Uh, have Xbox Game Pass. Cool, nice gun. Ugh. Yeah, you can even do it for something like this. Army green. We don't have really any color, other any other colors yet. Um, yeah, that's all there too. Same thing, technically you can do it to these as well. The jammers. Uh, performance. Huh. It almost looks like you'll be able to equip items on this, but we can't yet. Might get Halo Reach. Yeah, I'm going to be playing. Well, I'm mainly playing Halo Reach just for uh, campaign. But uh, I'm excited to at least check it out. What does this do? Blocks incoming. Oh, okay, that's the, the block, the thing. Do we unlock any other new tanks? Tank destroyer. Damn, this has good protection against anti-infantry, but every time I drive it, I get absolutely demolished. Land drone. People love this thing, the Leviathan. I've been get, seeing a bunch of people with those. Ooh. When do we unlock this? Huh. Really? I might actually have to equip that and try that out. Let's see. I'm going to change the technical. Change it to the aerial drone. Change this to artillery. High explosive. And we'll leave that as the jammer, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. How you get online on your PC? What do you mean? I have, um... Yeah, actually, what do you mean? <laughs> I guess that's the better question. I didn't realize that we've uh, upgraded this. Or unlocked new stuff. Stain colors. Uh, okay, that's all good. Uh, using Steam is mainly the big thing. All right, I'm gonna clear the notifications. Okay, I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick, so I will be right back, and then we will uh, jump into another game. All right, chat, I'm back. So let's hop into our next game. Moscow. I wonder how many people are uh, actually as we're loading in. Let me check two things. All right, we're in. I didn't really get to check what I wanted to check, but that's all right, I guess. Uh, can we see what our... 
Nice. Okay, aerial drones. Cool. We have it there. Alright, let's see how this game goes. Enemy Fuck up. Let's do it. I meant to check and see if the game was on sale at all. But, uh... I didn't get... I forgot to. All right, so we're taking Bravo one. Uh, where is Bravo two? Bravo two is over there. Typically, they usually don't come with the uh, game pass. You have to actually go out and, uh, and download the Xbox app and then download it from there. Unless if they have some sort of uh, like deal right now where you get it. I just got a bunch of texts from games or well Twitter updates from uh, games that I follow. Racking up those points right now. Two. All right, where's Alpha 2? Uh, all the way over there. Let's go for Charlie 2. We're so close to Charlie 2, so we might as well. So far, yeah, I think it's worth getting. I uh, I enjoy it. I think it's a lot of fun. I can't wait to see what they add to this game. I think it's only going to get better and better, really. So, as long as somebody doesn't throw a grenade over here, we should be okay. Damn. We're taking Bravo 1. Almost got shot. Back to Bravo One. The second floor. Oh, man. Uh -oh. 
Nice. We got one. Damn, this looks good. It's pretty fun. Also, how you doing, Keldron? Woo! Hear him. There it is. Using this LMG a whole lot more than I was expecting to. <laughs> Pretty nice. Health is good. Uh, we could use some uh, armor. I don't know if anybody has any though. Quest. Oh no. No. Squad radio. All right, so we have Bravo 1, Bravo 2. Uh, let's go back for... There's Charlie. Yeah, let's go for Charlie 2 again. A lot of this map is very out in the open. So... Yeah. down it's the ammo take that nice we got charlie one charlie two let's go for charlie one try to link these two uh so i found out earlier today in order to gain points you actually have to have both objectives i thought you would get more points oh god but no you actually have to hold the both points to be able to uh, uh damn oh i thought it crashed there for a second yeah i'm gonna spawn on charlie too Is there vehicles? Yes. There are a good amount of vehicles. Um, most of them are used as kill or score streaks um, because there aren't kill streaks. It's more so score. The more you play the objective, the more points you get. Uh, and then also from getting kills and things like that too. Uh, yep, that'll work. There it is. Stay still. 
still. Woo. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, right there, there's a vehicle. Uh, there's a lot of different ones too. There's tanks, infantry vehicles. Uh, yeah, there's artillery. There's also uh, airstrikes that you can call in. There are a number of... Uh, damn. I'll show you actually real quick some strikes. Uh, so here's all the loadouts for your score streaks. You can change them out at any point. Um, for this one that I currently have equipped, I have an, a jammer on artillery and a helicopter drone. Uh, so here's another one. This one's a radar. So UAV, uh, different type of artillery or bombing. And then, uh, the last one is a, uh, ATV vehicle. Here's one where you can spawn in with the tank. Uh, another one that's this one's an anti armor quadrocopter uh, UAV. And you can swap these out. So I can go into this one. And if I want to change one of these out, I can change this to a uh, radar instead of a jammer. Same thing with this artillery airstrike. I can change it to that, change it to a bombing run. And then these are usually the vehicle slots. Aerial drones, land vehicles, more vehicles, AF, uh, AFV, I guess, a tank destroyer and a main tank. Uh, all of that. Uh, then as you level them up too, you gain more items to, uh, more equipment to equip them with. Um, you can also, in the uh, menu, you can do a showcase and you can expand it and see the whole vehicle and what parts can be swapped out. Uh, you can do the same things with guns as well. Uh, you can change out, there's literally hundreds of attachment combinations that you can do. Uh, you can have only five different attachments, but the more you use a weapon, the more progress uh, progress you make on it, and then the more you, uh, you know, keep, uh, keep leveling. Wonder if they have de decent feel to them. For the most part, yeah. Um, everything really has a, I think a lot of the generic, like, gameplay for a lot of the vehicles feel pretty good. Um, especially, like, the ATVs and stuff. Those are a lot of fun. Uh, I'm gonna set our objective to Bravo 1. Go for, actually, well, we're right here at Charlie 1, so. It has that very battlefield feel to the game, too. I am going to spawn on Alpha 1. I just unlocked the new pistol grip. That's cool. Uh, let's go for Alpha 2. Right now... Nice. Throw down with some health. Ah. Yeah, I thought I heard somebody nearby, but I I wasn't sure where they were at. Uh, okay. Let's go for. One on this guy. Are we still have Alpha One? We do. This is Alpha Two though. Yeah, honestly, this, this game has a great foundation to it uh, as far as customization, gameplay. Like, I, I think really the best way 
that this game can exceed is as so long as they put out new maps uh continue to put out new maps uh they add the battle pass in they add in um really better uh bug fixes and and things like that server issues seem to be doing pretty good so far at least today um they the last two days they had some issues but i think that they're kind of up to speed uh at the moment uh as long as they keep you know keep making updates to this game i think there's a lot of potential to it and i hope that we see more uh hello. oh oh so that's how this works cool <laughs> i was wondering how this uh this is gonna do work but now i see Am I just chilling there? Or am I like using this until I die? What other uh, ammo? This only has... only problem is I can't really see anybody there we go we're coming in Ah, so that's how that works. Um, let's see. Let's go for Charlie too. Wow, we have a lot of these objectives right now. So far, I like the maps in terms of an actual war zone instead of some shiny city that looks like a resort of the wealthy, like Battlefield. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah. No, I definitely see that. Um. This map definitely has like. I mean, they all have like their own little war uh war torn look to them uh the three maps or four maps are this one there's berlin uh another one with the p that i can't really pronounce off the top of my head and uh then there's a few uh one other one i can't can't remember hey sarge t thank you for the or for the uh sub on youtube don't like the maps for the new battlefield now i get that so and i said this earlier uh this game is going to be filled with battlefield refugees right now and i i guarantee it majority of the people playing this are people that wanted more of a traditional um battlefield game and that's honestly this feels like a battlefield four like point two in a way um like a, another version of battlefield 4 and i feel like that's that's kind of what a lot of people wanted from this and so far um it's it's been meeting those marks i think uh this game originally came out in 2018 and that's when i bought it actually uh it was in early access and then they they ended up taking it down uh to rework some things um so that kind of happened i uh, they are re-releasing it right now so that's what i'm currently playing it's in closed beta and uh it's it's been a lot of fun uh they made some changes it is going to be going free to play in the first quarter of next year but uh i guess we'll see how that goes i i hope that farm 51 can kind of keep it under under wraps with the microtransactions or whatever they end up doing uh if they had the ability to build sandbag walls or some kind of thing like that that would be awesome like the only good thing about enlisted dude i i actually really enjoy enlisted and that is one thing that i i really liked about it too um 
enlisted is one of those games where i want to go back to as well because i i really like that like that style was really cool and i would hope i i hope that they uh they do something like that in a modern game as well um so i guess we'll see but i i enjoyed enlisted a, a good amount like a lot and i've been wanting to go back since they added new campaigns but i i haven't gone back yet That game is just a 100% grind. Ghost Bay to win that it would be dog shit. Uh, but if they stick to cosmetics, people will pay out ass and not have to hate on the game for pay to win. Exactly. And I have hopes for, for Farm 51 for it um, because they did a good job with other games. Uh, well, with specifically um, Chernobylite. So and they, they originally were going to just stick to themselves but my games picked them up my games doesn't have a perfect track record um they also publish warface and things like that so that is definitely it could go to shit <laughs> absolutely could but i think where it's currently at uh i have hopes that they won't do that and if they do stick to cosmetics or if they stick to a battle pass um then i i think it's it's doable i i think that they they can do it it's just how they choose to so but either way right now 15 dollars to entry um either waiting until it's free to play or honestly picking up the game for 15 bucks for the the smallest pack really is not that bad so so yeah some of these game companies are super shady and then buy the game, shelve them, and then do really bad. Yeah. Now, uh, there's definitely a, a lot of game companies out there, and I, I would hate to see that with this game, but I'm hopeful that they won't because it, it does have a good foundation. Like, I, I really could see them releasing this as, like, a $20, $40 game similar to, like, something like Squad and just leaving it at that. But if they... There's got to be a reason that they... They switched up to a free-to-play model, so hopefully uh, it'll be within standards. I think it's going to be along the lines of Warzone uh, and Warzone's free-to-play model, where they're going to have packs, like cosmetic things and like blueprints of weapons that you can buy, but I think that's really going to be it. Um, adding new maps and all that, like adding a battle pass. I'm hoping that it's not going to be like, because right now I have blueprints, right? I have blueprints for weapons that I can't use because I haven't unlocked the base weapon yet. Um, oh God. So dead vehicles stay for a bit some of them do some of these are spawned vehicles that are just part of the map too though so um i think some of them are explode pretty fast and then other ones stick around for a bit depends on the uh yeah i think it depends but i'm not sure where is alpha 2 where's the objective so like on the last point you could jam a wreck there as a cover for a while exactly yep how are we doing team wise oh my god what dude somebody has what All right, let's do this. Our units are taking hold of objective Alpha One. What does that do?
Wait, ally vehicle kill? What? Objective Bravo 1 is under attack. Uh, this is a standard game engine everyone uses for hacks and super duty to change over to the any game, unfortunately. Yeah. So I I mean I haven't seen anything for this game yet when it comes to like uh like you know hacking the game or any of that but also the player count is kind of not like exactly there just yet so we'll, we'll have to wait and see but of course that is always a worry when it comes to free to especially free to play games that because anybody can get access to it um the amount of people that can exploit it is goes up by a lot so. That is definitely a thing they have to be on the lookout for. They're definitely above me. You can walk into a local tech store and buy hardware to the hacks easily. Yeah. Can be pretty, uh... Not, especially nowadays. You can even just download some software online too to kind of do all, everything you need as well. So, it is definitely not the most difficult thing these days. And with the internet being the internet, <laughs> there's answers to everything too. So, yep. But hopefully, uh, we'll see. I do want to check the player count and see how it is today. Nice link defense zone. Got that one. All right, let's go for Charlie one. Ouch. Jeez. Go, go, go. This can get flagged. The hard one, one is a gray one. No one is detecting a bang effort. Yeah, it's. Hardware is where it becomes difficult because the game would have to be knowledgeable enough to be able to look at those things and then uh, be able to detect it and then you know, ban for it or whatever. So I can definitely see it. And one good grenade in there. Ooh. Or that, a guy with a shotgun, that works too. You watch videos of Warzone, a guy using it basically has a like name bot. Yeah. I, I've seen Warzone stuff. It's uh, not easy out there. Personally, I don't play, I don't really play Warzone at all. Um, I don't really play any or a lot of multiplayer games. It's just recently Battlefield, uh, Halo, and then this now, because those are all games that I've obviously grown up on and, and wanted to check out. I'm a big Battlefield person. Um, so, this has always had my interest. Play Tarkov? I want to play Tarkov. My, my one buddy is very Tarkov heavy. Um, I have it too. I just haven't really like fully dived into it yet. I like everything about the game, except for the, the, the only problem and my biggest issue is going to be the meta of knowing where to extract how, where to go to get equipment, what matters, what is good, what isn't good. Uh, but the tacticalness, like if it was more condensed and like, like it is a very uh, uh, heavy game to learn with all the different things that you can do with it. Victory, nice. Kicking a dick wrapped in the PS looter. That is a great explanation. <laughs> that is fantastic. And it 
Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's great. Um, but yeah. Oh god, I froze for a second. Um I know I just finished this game. Uh I'm going to take a, a quick break. My food just got delivered, so I'm gonna eat real quick. And then afterwards I'll be good and uh oh. Uh oh. Learning curve is long. Still learning and remembering shit. Yeah, exactly. Luckily, I mean, there's a bunch of resources out there, so it's easy to pull something up and kind of look at that and reference it as you're playing. But yeah. Um, oh boy. Okay, we got back in. Woo! Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go eat 